Today I am going to show you very interesting topic that is the workflow of lens distortion footage using PF track new and Maya. So let's start with this footage. Here I have one footage. I download it from Hollywood Camera Works dot com. Here you can download so many good quality of footage and that is free so I thanks to Hollywood camera works to provide this kind of footage so let's start with PF track so here I have this footage so always do one thing first take user track or auto track I prefer always user track see here I take some user tracks I can now see here is the distortion so for that I use undistortion I can show you how on distortion work so I right click here and I take undistortion so here if you have any information regarding your lens you can apply over here but in our case I have no clue or I have no information of my lens so how I can find the distortion so here they give some good tool to measure the distortion so here I take new line and click here click here and I just define this line and now I solve and see you get undistorted footage because camera solve work only on undistorted footage so here the main step is how to use this undistorted footage so right now I delete this because I already undistorted this footage I solve my camera using camera solver and then orient scene I pick some points on ground and I set plane to exit plane and I take one of my track point solve point and I set as origin so here I got the solution now I export this footage in Maya as well as I have to also export this undistorted image sequence so to export this undistorted image sequence I have to go clip export and here you define these things and export clip so by clicking this export clip your image sequence store in your PF track folder as well as Clicking this export scene, your particular format in Maya, Max, or any else, you can export this scene. Okay, so here I complete 
one of my task that is undistorted your footage solve this footage and export now i go to nuke here i already remove my chroma but this is not the perfect time to see this now see what is your footage size that is 1280 and 720 so here i create one ram and i put color to red basically i design u a map so coordinate is 0 this is 1280 and this is 0 and 0 so here i apply one gradient or one ram black to red i create one more ram i just duplicate this by clicking alt c in this i define color to green and what the color now i have two ram black to red and one is black to green now i merge this thing and apply blending mode plus so here you get one ue map so this is your black color that is 00 this is your red 10 this is your yellow 11 this is your green 01 so it actually defined your coordinate system using color scheme so now i export this image in exa format this is compulsory you have to export this image in exa format so here i have this ue image in exa format now i have to take this image into pf track now here one option that is call transform clip after applying and distortion you can see your image size is change for in our example this is 1659 by 933 so i have to apply this value this width is 1659 and height is 933 okay after transform your clip you have to apply one more tool that is your add distortion tool and now you see here you have value 0.592 so i have to add and you get this distortion in this transform clip so you have to save this image in exa format by clicking export and you get here just double click on it and change your file format to exa 32 bit and export clip you get another image that is your distorted image map okay now my pf track was is complete so i close my pf track now i move to maya so i open this scene in maya and make sure whenever you work in maya your background plate should be your undistorted footage and you have to render your image sequence 
in that undistortion size so here I have this camera solved data in Maya now I create some geometry I already did this Okay, apply some texture in our case I just use checker pattern and here I also create one ID pass so that I can put my character behind these boxes first I just apply some primary colors and this is my master beauty now render this using any mental ray UV ray software render or anything so I just render 120 frame in target sequence so in Maya there is not too much work it depends upon you that how you treat your scene so in our assignment this is my secondary so I have not too much work on this footage I just render this out now I move to new so here I have this render passes which is right now undistorted because we render this on undistorted footage as same as my ID pass so right now we have that UV distortion map that we render from PF track so now how I apply exact distortion that my footage have on my render passes I have this distortion I have to apply that distortion in my render passes using this UV map so what I have to do I just create one ST map in ST map you have to define your UV as ST map and your source is your render passes now here you have to define RGB as UV so now you see you get this distortion on your render passes I would apply same thing on my ID pass so I just duplicate this thing by pressing Alt C source is my render pass and ST map is with my UV pass so I get same distortion over here I have to just compose these things so I just merge this thing this as background so now you see you get that distortion and you can also define this as mask apply red inward and you can see we got exact same distortion that is in our footage so this is the one way to solve your lens distorted footage so hope you like this tutorial see you soon